Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty. Today, judging by the title of the video, we're here to talk about this. This. The AFL Evolution 2018 Season Pack, or Season Pack 2018, 2018 season, pack, season Pack, Season Pack 2018. Okay? And it got announced. So this announcement came yesterday in the afternoon around about 4 o'clock, which I think is probably the general time they've been making majority of their announcements. Um, and basically this is what it says. This is for those of you who don't have Facebook who missed this announcement. It says, True Blue Entertainment, Wicked Witch, AFL and the AFL Players Association are proud to announce the upcoming AFL Evolution 2018 Season Pack. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> proud to announce the upcoming AFL Evolution Season Pack 2018. Okay. Keep an eye on this Facebook page for more information and a release date. Hashtag AFL Evolution. Not sure why the hashtag was needed given it's already on the AFL Evolution page. But we basically just got a thing saying we're, we're updating the game this year. Which is fantastic. So what do we think is going to be in? Well, let's look at the past. What have we had previously? We've had Big End. Back in 2012, we had the Game of the Year edition update for AFL Live, which uh, gave us, you know, more fixtures. What else did it give us? I don't know. I know it gave us updated fixtures. It gave us updated player rosters. I don't think there was another stadium that got added. Maybe it was uh, Spotless Stadium for GWS because GWS got added into the competition that year. That's right. So that's that's what happened the first time. The second time we had the AFL Live 2 DLC. I don't think it was Game of the Year, although it might have been called that. Uh, which... Or was it like the grand final of the... I don't know. Can people not message me when I'm recording? And obviously the AFL Live 2 DLC, we had the Adelaide Oval was the stadium included with the roster update. So if, if we're just going off those previous two updates, I would suggest that it's probably, uh, you know, more of the same. You know, updating the rosters, uh, putting in the new Perth Stadium. Obviously that's the new stadium that's going to be used this year, so I'm assuming that would be done. Uh, all the updated fixtures for all the competitions, the updated women's lists as well, uh, you would think would be added as well. Um, but I wouldn't think anything more than that. I think anything more than that would probably be uh, a bit of a surprise. I don't think AFL X will be included, even though obviously AFL X starts next week and it's going to be a big part of 2018. But given how limited we like, we haven't seen it at all. So I feel like it would be Im almost impossible for people to then put it into a video game if they didn't know how it was going to work. But hopefully that's something that we might get next year, you know, whether we get another season pack in 2019 for AFL Evolution or if there's a brand new game, that would be even more fantastic. But I think the key thing here for me is the fact that it actually says season pack and it has a year next to it. I literally spend the next five minutes ranting about how it has 2018 in it without realizing the other two games also had years in their season packs. So I'm just going to skip over that argument that I had with myself. So let's talk about price. This is something I didn't touch on yet. Um, and obviously we looked at the previous two DLCs. One was $12.95, one was $16.45. I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere between that, you know, $15 to $25 range. Probably wouldn't be more than $22, I would say, um, which is generally what most DLCs are these days. But yeah, let's put it this way. It would very much surprise me if this was free, just given the fact that we have had two uh, season pack updates previously with the costs behind them. Also, why is 2018 at the end of Season Pack? Just, just for the record. Previously, they've got 2012 Update Pack and 2014 Season Pack. I swear, I've got so many messages while I'm recording. And then they just put it at the end. You had it at the start, now you got it at the end. Consistency! My God. Now, there was a couple of things that made pointed to this prior to this announcement. This is one of them. This is Tommy Sheridan on his Instagram said, Shooting for AFL Evolution today. I'm not sure when this happened. I'm assuming it was 
uh, back when uh, the tennis was on, so I really had no time to look at literally anything during that. So that's more confirmation of obviously a player getting, you know, a shot. Now, when I think of someone saying they're shooting for AFL Evolution, I think back to this Western Bulldogs promo video we had of behind the scenes where all the players were getting their headshots in the cameras. Um, obviously, they have their Guernseys on in there, and he's obviously putting his Guernsey on here. Um, so that's possibly one of the things that's going on here, whether they're reshooting everyone to update their likenesses, or maybe we're just getting a few players with more updated likenesses and, you know, better looking heads. That could be one thing. But the most likely explanation for this is obviously to get the newer players updated and why wouldn't you just get a whole bunch of everyone while you're at it for you know more future reference if they wanted to then start working on an update for next year but obviously if you're already going to a club why not get all of the players done rather than just the new ones because then that way you have more updated looks for everyone. But yeah, I do like this little dig at the bottom here. Looks like my speed will be 26 out of 100 at Michael Barlow. Just a little bit of a stats dig there. So I think that it's, uh, at the end of the day, I think it's a pretty interesting announcement. Obviously, we're not getting much information. We're being given stay tuned as usual. Obviously, it's a very, very vague announcement and we're just speculating on things at this point in time. Hopefully, it arrives before the beginning of the season. I think the thing for me is the lack of actual like confirmed release date I think if it was probably gonna be ready in time for the start of the season they might have told us that so hopefully it's not too long after that if it is past the start of the season but hopefully we're not waiting till like September for this update to come through. It would bemuse me, but I wouldn't surprise me. And uh, that's probably everything I've got to add on the topic at the moment. I'm just hoping Richmond's the highest rated stat team in the game. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a big thumbs up if you're excited about the Season Pack 2018. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think could be included in it otherwise, um, or if you're not excited as well. Where's the headband DLC? Want a headband DLC where I can just chuck a headband on my player and look like a buffoon. Maybe that's what they're adding in. Jaden, but they should do it. I don't understand why. Anyway, leave a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.